Hey friends, it's Robert, and today I am excited to be coming together with some other great Kin Community channels to participate in a bridal shower collaboration. We're celebrating the upcoming wedding of fellow YouTuber and Kin Community member Alex Garza. Now for my part, I'm going to be putting together the party favors, but you'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see all of the other participating channels and their fantastic projects. And you'll also want to see the video here on Kin of the actual bridal shower. What I want to show you how to do is to make your own plantable paper. This is basically homemade paper embedded with seeds that can be used for all sorts of party favors. Essentially what we'll be doing is creating our own paper pulp, pouring it into a water bath, and screening out new sheets. Once the paper is dry, we're going to punch it down into different shapes and include it with a kit that we'll send home with each guest so they can grow their own beautiful flowers. First thing we'll need to do is create our paper making screen. And to do that, I've purchased two inexpensive picture frames. Now the one thing you do want to keep in mind is you want to select frames that have a flat face. Then go ahead, remove the backing and the glass and set them aside. Now you're going to need vinyl screening from the hardware store. This comes in a roll and we're going to cut out two pieces that are an inch larger than each of our frames on all four sides. Now take one of the empty frames, lay it down on a piece of screening, wrap the screening around to the back, and secure it in place with a staple gun. We're just going to attach the screen to one of the frames. The second frame will leave blank, and that's known as a decal when you're making paper. And then we'll also be using that second sheet of screening. Set these items aside, and we're going to begin making our paper pulp. Now you can make paper pulp out of almost any kind of paper. Recycled newspaper, old envelopes, or what I'm using today are a few sheets of standard white copy paper, but I'm also throwing in a bright pink sheet of cardstock. Now I know that Alex really likes bright pink and mint, and so those are two colors that we're going to try and incorporate into today's project. Tear up the paper into little pieces, and we're going to fill the pitcher of a kitchen blender about halfway to two-thirds full. You don't want to pack it in, you just want to place them in there loosely. Over top of the paper, we're going to fill the container with water, again about halfway to two-thirds full, and then we'll allow it to sit for just a moment to soften up. Now we want to blend our paper down into a pulp. You want to check it a couple of times to make sure you're not left with any large chunks. What we're looking for is something the consistency of oatmeal. And then we're going to pour our pulp into a water bath. And what I'm using today is a standard dish pan filled halfway full with water. To that, we also want to add our plant seeds. I selected a special mixture of seeds to grow plants that are known to attract butterflies and hummingbirds. Mix the pulp and the seeds together in the water bath. And then we're going to take our screen and our decal. We're going to place them flat sides together place it down into the water bath, and gently lift it straight up to capture a sheet of pulp. Let it drip for just a minute and you can wipe the excess pulp off of the sides of the frame. Now we're going to transfer it over to a plastic tray. Lift the decal straight up and set it aside. You can see it's perfectly formed a rectangular sheet of paper. Now we're going to take that second piece of loose screen and set it over top. Using a regular kitchen sponge, we're going to try and soak up some of that excess water that's currently in the paper pulp. Press it down gently, and then wring it out over top of the water bath. Do this several times. Now lift up your frame and wipe any excess water off of the plastic tray, lay down a paper towel, flip the frame over, and lay it back down. We're now going to sponge the other side, soaking up any excess water. Now we'll lift the frame up gently, releasing the sheet of paper. If the paper sticks, add additional pressure with the sponge on the back, or try gently peeling it away at the corners with your fingers. Then transfer the paper to a piece of felt to allow it to dry. Our handmade paper will take about 12 to 24 hours to dry, depending on the climate you're in. You can speed up the process by setting it outdoors in the sunshine, or indoors near a fan. You may find that the paper has warped during the drying process. To flatten it out, place it under a stack of books and let it sit overnight. Our dry, handmade, plantable paper is really beautiful. You can see specks of all of the different papers we use to make our paper pulp, and you can see the seeds scattered throughout. Next, I'm going to take a large paper punch and punch out a series of sweet butterfly shapes. 
You can see that in addition to the pink paper, I've also created some mint colored paper. To the back of the butterflies, I'm going to glue down a teeny tiny clothespin. This is going to allow us to easily attach it to the packaging later. The idea with this party favor is to send each guest home with a kit that contains basically everything they need to grow their own beautiful flowers. So I found these really sweet pink pots with cork lids, and rather than fill it with loose soil, which could be a little messy, I went to the hardware store and found these seed starter pellets. These are compact little rounds of soil that have been dehydrated. When you place them in your container and add about a half cup of warm water, they almost instantaneously expand, filling your container with beautiful potting soil. Your guests can then remove the butterfly from the clothespin, place it under a shallow layer of soil, keep it moist, and eventually it will germinate and sprout. So for the party favor, we're gonna take one pellet, place it inside the container, close the lid, and then tie a bow around it using some pretty satin ribbon. Next, we'll take our butterflies and gently bend the wings back so they look a little bit more lifelike and pin them right onto the ribbon. You might also want to consider attaching a tag with simple planting instructions for your guest. Now I do hope you'll give this project a try. It's highly customizable. You can create the paper in any color palette you'd like, add any type of seeds you'd like, and obviously punch it into any shape you'd like. Be certain to check out the playlist of all the other channels participating in this bridal shower collaboration, and check out the party video here on Kin Community. Thank you so much for watching, and please join me again next time for another great DIY project.